You can use parameters to filter data in a report. In this video, I'll show you how to add parameters. Set some default values. Then, I'll create multi-value and cascading parameters. You'll also learn how to link report and query parameters together. I'm going to start with a master detail report that I've already created. There's already a video available showing you how to set this up. Let's see how to make this report display data for a specific category that's selected in Print Preview. First, I'll create a report parameter that will list product categories and pass the selected value to the report's filter string. Switch to the field list and right-click on Parameters and choose Add Parameter. I'll set the name and description to read Category. The name will be referred to in the filter expression, and the description will be displayed in Print Preview. You also want to make sure the type property is set to the same data field that will be compared in the filter expression. In this case, I'll leave it set to number. To supply parameter values from a data source, check the Supports the Collection of Standard Values option. Then, I'll set the following options. Data source specifies the data source that the parameter is bound to. Data member specifies the name of the data column storing the parameter values. Value member specifies the name of a data field providing the parameter values and display member specifies the name of a data field providing parameter value descriptions displayed in Print Preview. You don't need to specify the data adapter property unless your report is bound to a data set. The filter string setting is optional. It enables you to filter the list of parameter values. I'll click OK and then filter some data. In the Smart tag, click on the Filter String button. I'll set it so that Category ID equals Category. And if I switch to preview the report, you'll see you can filter products according to their category. Now let's see how to enable multi-value selections. Select category in the field list and set its multi-value property to true. Then open the filter string editor again. This time, I'll switch to Is Any Of and click OK. Now users can select multiple values to filter by. You can also filter the list of parameter values depending on the value selected for another parameter. These cascading parameters will be used to filter data of both the master and detail reports. I'll add another parameter. Set the name and description to Product. Check Supports Collection of Standard Values and Allow Multiple Values. Then set all the data values accordingly. Open the filter string editor and set it to Category ID is any of category. To filter the detail report, click its smart tag and choose the filter string editor. I'll set it to product ID is any of product. If I switch over to preview now, you'll see that users can now filter data by category, then product. Now let's look at how to work with these large data sources. To do this, it's best to filter the data before it comes to a report. In this case, you can link report parameters with query parameters that are used to insert dynamically generated values into a SQL query before its execution. To filter data at the data source level, switch to the Report Explorer and right-click the Report Data Source. Select Manage Queries. Next, select a query and click its button. In the Query Editor, click Run Query Builder. Here, click Filter and construct the filter string as required.
When adding a new query parameter, you can choose to link it to a corresponding report parameter. Make sure to select an appropriate parameter type that matches the data field. Click OK. You can edit the parameters if you need to by clicking on the Edit Parameters button. Alright, let's finish up the Query Editor and look at this in preview. Users can now set a minimum and maximum price and filter data accordingly. And that's it for this video. To learn more about our reporting suite, make sure to check out the documentation on our website, or watch any of the other videos from our reporting playlist. You can also subscribe to our channel and watch all of our latest videos. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.